Hello, this is Crystal Racing with a mid-season review of Force India and Williams' season so far. So, Lance Stroll and his father Lawrence have bought the Force India team, as you've probably heard. And of course, this will have massive repercussions, starting off with number one. Is there room for Robert Cupid's at Force India? Lance Stroll has been on record saying that he rates Robert Cupid's technical feedback very highly. However, there is a big issue to do with whether Ocon and Perez will move on. And I have to say, Ocon is going, will probably only leave if Mercedes do a deal for him to go to another team, while Sergio Perez is pretty much reliant on whether um, he can find another team that will take on his Mexican money and not conflict with their interests. Whilst Robert Kubitz, on the other hand, is will not brew another in-season test until the end of this season. So that is remained to be seen. The next point is Sergei Sorokin and Lance Stroll. As you can see from the crystal scores they have received for this season, both of them are 19th and 20th. Sergei Sorokin is promising, but he's not particularly talented, and whilst Lance Stroll's attitude has been very much up for question, especially as moaning and whinging at Monaco, and to be honest, I don't see them improving at all, so... On to the next point, which is number three. Esteban Ocon is in limbo. The Frenchman was rumoured very heavily to move to Renault for next season. However, thanks to Daniel Ricciardo's shock announcement, he is very much in limbo. The only possible move he's got in his locker is either he stays at Force India for next season, or he goes to Williams, depending on whether Mercedes strike a deal at Williams to make them a B team of some sort. Whilst on to the next point at number four, Sergio Perez is the hero of the hour, but is he off the horse? Of course, Sergio Perez was did work with his sponsors to put Force India into administration in order to safeguard over 400 jobs, which he deserves huge credit for, but it remains to be seen whether he would want to work with Lance Stroll and his father and what will be a very heavily, heavily, re heavily new management with a lot of new uh, businessmen and backers involved and whether his own Mexican sponsors would want to work with them. So, whilst on the other hand, Horse um, are really a satellite team. They don't really have many, the only, well, they're, pretty much self-funded from Gene Halls and I think it'll be a lot easier for Sergio Perez to move over to the American team who of course might well be who will be very happy to take on his sponsorship money was at number five Force India as a result looks steady and yes they've had a very good season so far not as good as last the last three or four years but uh, due to the amount of disruptions they've had with VJ Malia and um, the new regulations and the lack of cash, they have done very well. I think I would give them a B due to the amount of struggles they've had. Force India can be pretty pleased with themselves, although, of course, they are heading for a sixth or seventh place finish. Bars at number six. Williams' future remains uncertain, and I don't really know where Williams are going to move on from this. No more Lance Stroll, although of course Claire Williams apparently gave a, an interview, a very short interview to a press member of the press where she looked very content and very certain about sorting out Williams' future despite of course not only will they probably lose Lance Stroll, they will probably lose more teeny money. And of course, well, having said that though, that doesn't hide away from the fact that they have easily the worst car on the grid, their team has degenerated from from over a decade of mismanagement. Um, I don't know really what else to add to that. They bombed a pile and deservedly so. So on to the predictions. And 
Force India, I think, will probably finish 6th or 7th, and Williams will finish 10th. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Crystal Racing, where I'll be doing more reviews of other teams and series. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.